Hey guys, Kumsi here and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. As promised in the last episode, in this one, we are going to build our own PC from scratch. This is the first job that we've gotten along this same line. Can you build me a new PC starting from scratch, buying everything from the case, the PSU, and everything else? Granted, the requirements are not very complicated if you look at it. Need a new PC for the local train enthusiast club. club. So he's probably going to buy, going to play train sim? No, maybe not. Maybe he's just recording videos. We'll see. Anyway, so we have a budget of 750. That's one of the objectives. Spend less than 750. You have to take that into account. And actually, the uh, only. Hmm, yeah, the only parts that are really required are getting 16 gig of RAM and 500 gig of storage. That should be manageable. And if we have a look at our current inventory we have a lot of used parts we can reuse all of these we even have a cpu cooler that's perfect so we just need to buy a motherboard we need to buy yeah we need ram we need ram that's fine yeah gpu we can reuse something from here maybe the cheapest one right that one or maybe the where was it? The cheapest one we had. This one. Oh, this one's brand new. But 1050T. Yeah, yeah, I remember buying that one before and we couldn't use it because I was expecting that was good. We also have a brand new hard drive. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. All right. So we need a casing. Uh, we don't have any case. We need the motherboard. Let's choose first what kind of uh, CPU we'll be using. So only 500 gig and 16 gig of RAM. Okay, that's easy enough. So we are actually free to use any processor we want. So we can probably g use a pretty cheap one for him. Right? How about that one? Um, that could work, but I'm kind of... Let me see. Yeah, that's actually not bad. This i3 is worse if you look at it. Yeah, let's go with that. LGA 1151. So we need a motherboard which is compatible with that one. Okay, let's go window shopping. No, let's go shopping really. What is that here? Ryzen 5 quad core 1500X. Do you guys remember what that's for? Ah, oh, we'll remember later. <laughs> that's for a different job probably. So, let's go for a motherboard. Let's go for a uh, LGA 1151 Skylake. Is that that one? Um, hmm. If I can pick another one. I'm not very familiar with... Or are these the only motherboards available? Okay. Okay, not a lot of options, turns out. These two below are for Ryzen, these two above are for the Intel chips. So let's get that. Motherboard, yes. Memory, yes we need memory. We need 16 gigs. And if we want to make use of the dual memory thingy, I always forget what that is. We'll have to buy two 8 gigs. Now let's see. If we can filter via cannot filter via frequency or via size or maybe we can if we say 8 GB there you go and let's pick the cheapest one 60 is the cheapest I've seen we have 40 no that's just 4 gig so let's get 8 here like that 8 gig 60 is the cheapest so far ah because that has an 8 in there oh. <laughs> okay fine yeah, this is the this is the one. Let's buy that. Two of these. So graphics card we have, storage we have, power supply. Yes, we need a power supply. Now, how do we know how much wattage we need? I'm guessing we only need a very small amount. Maybe let's get a three hundred. 
Uh, modular, yes, I want a modular. Let's get a 350. I think that should cover it. We should be way below budget here. So that shouldn't be an issue. We have cables already. We have a case. We can buy a cheapest, the cheapest case. Price ascending. Silverstone, Antec, DF500. That actually looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, everything else is so expensive. Motherboard, ATX, PSU size, ATX. Yeah, that's fine. Length, GPU length. That's actually not bad. We don't need like a hardcore uh, case because we only have very basic stuff. We even have case fans for him. I think that's actually enough already. Is it? So let me, let's, let's review. We have CPU, a used one. We have a cooler, a used one. We have a motherboard right here. Memory right here, graphics card, we have a used one. Storage, we have a brand new one in inventory. Power supply is here. Cables, we have already. Case, that's the one. Case fans, we have it in the inventory. And I think that's it. I guess the only thing I wanted to review was if this one, max CPU fan height is 155 meters. If we look at our cryo rig, 155, this is only 125 meters millimeters rather not meters meters would be so low, big <laughs> okay so this is good so that's one thing you need to take into account when you're fitting a custom cpu cooler because these can be pretty huge okay so that's good this one upgrade cpu ah i think this is the one which was in the uh, cart initially that one amd ryzen 5 quad core 1500x is it um yes i think so yeah, missing parts. That's the one we had already. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's good. Let us also take a look at the other PC so we can buy everything in one go. Oh, here we go again with the 3D Mark score. Oh my goodness, okay. So benchmark, oh, that's too far away. 2, 3, 4, 4, and he wants 3, 6, 6, 7, but he has a budget of 540. I guess, okay, he has a very bad GPU, thank goodness. So that means a lot of improvement there. We can get him another slot of RAM for, an, for a good upgrade. So I think we can focus really on the very good GPU and it should be fine because his uh, CPU isn't that bad. So GTX 960 Gaming 2G. GTX 960 Gaming 2G. 960 Gaming 2G. That one. 1451. If you buy the top of the line, how much can that cost? Let's see. If you go for graphics cards, look for the most expensive. That is actually within his budget. So if you get a golden edition, what is the top of the line? Yeah, the golden edition is the top of the line. So we can get that, and then we can get him a... What is his 4 gig RAM? 2666. So if we go to memory, 4 gig RAM, 2666. That's the red one. I think it's this one, Team Group T Force Dark. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, perfect. But it's a different clock speed. So let's get the same clock speed, that one. We actually have one already. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Good. So let's just reuse that. Yes. Let's accept that. And let's buy him the best graphics card we can buy. Let me just double check that the length is okay. 277 millimeters. He currently has a GTX 960 Gaming 2G. 960 gaming 2G. That's 267. This is 277. That, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, Raijin Tech Thetis. Is that the case? Let's have a look at how, how much that is. In terms of uh, max GPU length is 280. Okay. And our GPU, the one we were are going to buy him, is 277. Very close, but within the range. Now, in terms of power supply, that's 400. The 960... Uh, 
like double the wattage. I'm not sure if it will be enough. We will we'll, we'll try, we will try. Okay, let's get that. Alright, perfect. Next. 3D mark score of 2167. Total AMD fanboy. Okay. We can upgrade that definitely, but he only has 170 budget. 170 budget. We can upgrade the... So from 2137 to 2167. Let's see. 1050 Ti. Gaming 4G. That's here at the bottom for sure. 1050 Ti Gaming 4G is this one. And then what is the best GPU we can buy? Because GPUs give the biggest score upgrade here. In this game at least. In reality, it kind of depends, I guess. So we can buy him a GTX 960 at most. Which is, I guess, not going to work. GTX 960 is... Uh, which one is that? GTX 960 Gaming LE 100ME. That one. So it's going to be... 4G. It's going to be from here. 1335. To 1388. Oh, that's too close. Yeah, that won't work. So what we can do instead is focus on the RAM. Get him another slot there. And another piece. So let's get 48 gig. So if I go and look at 48 gig. Um, what's the clock speed? 2400. Frequency that is 70. Okay. So if we get 70, then still have 100 bucks for the CPU. Not sure if that will be enough for a CPU. He wants AMD. Yeah, it won't be enough. We do have a Ryzen 5 quad core 1400. Yeah, maybe that will be enough. We can buy him. Oh, we have a used one. Perfect. Yeah, it, and he doesn't need any new parts, right? Yeah, so we can use that for his budget. And then we can buy him a memory. Let's see. So how much would the Ryzen, Ryzen 5 Quad Core 1400 be? Ryzen 5... This one. It's only 57. I think. That's how you look at the price. And then if you look at the memory, you get him a... Uh, Fortis. Let's get him a Fortis. 8 gig. Oh, I always forget. Sorry. 2400 yes 70 so that's 120 yeah that should be fine let's accept that i think i can fit that in what else complete by end of day psu okay uh, let's read what he has to say though maybe some sneaky stuff okay silver stone all right he wants a silver stone okay great et550b silver stone ET550B, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, he wants new stuff. Alright, that's good. Straightforward enough. This guy, upgrade to your PC. Okay. Graphics card, 8GB of RAM. Uh huh. How do stuff came out? Load of stuff came out. That sounds scary. <laughs> okay, he wants new parts. Alright. And he wants blue plastic cables. Okay, we have blue already. So upgrade the graphics card given his budget. He has a GTX 950. Oh my goodness, yeah, we can do that. We can easily do that. 950. Is that even in the benchmark? 950 is here. And then what we had was a 1050 Ti, I remember. So that's a bit of an upgrade, the brand new one that we had. Okay, great. And then we need 8 gig of RAM. Yes, okay. So accept that. Let's buy 8 gig of RAM. I'm going to have trouble mixing up these parts again later on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So let's go for the cheapest one. What's your budget? 335 actually. You don't need that much. Um, but yeah, we can get this Sheen Titan 4 gig. He only needs 8 gig, right? Yes, okay. So that should be enough, I think. There we go. Okay, good. And all these are new parts uh, availability. 
Perfect. Okay, good. Let's uh, buy all of these parts. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't forget anything. Let's uh, shut down for the day and continue tomorrow. And let's build our PC. Good. Let's see. Yes, okay. Pay rent is uh, like end of the week, next week. Friday today, Friday. Grab a couple of beers. Enjoy the weekend. Catch you on Monday. fresh <laughs> if only that were true okay good Let's turn on the PC I wonder when or if it will there will come a time where you need to upgrade your own PC because right now there is no purpose in it except for feeling pretty cool about yourself good got all that stuff let's build our PC here we go all right so how do we do this we need a case so we need to grab a case somewhere how does that work wait a minute okay we need to work on that how does that work put that here hmm didn't I buy a, a, a casing that might be a different mechanic altogether let me see case fans I do have that right if I go to the shop I should be able to see inventory that there is one uh, where was that the uh, Antec this one didn't I buy it I should have bought it did I miss something guys did you guys see? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Dang it. Really? Is there a bug? Or is it a bug on my end? Wait. So... No delivery... Uh, there we go, okay, we can review. Delivery of Mortoni, a data, sheen, G-Skill, Silver Stone... Oh, yeah, it was. it's not here. No, no, there, there it is. Antec TF500. So how the heck do you place it? It's not there. It says an assigned job. Add a case to start. Okay. Select case from inventory. But how do you do that? Okay, I have everything here. Graphics cards. Storage. Power supply, cables, case fans. I don't get it. Hmm. Is this the one? This is a different PC. Let me get that. Might be a bug here. I'm not sure. Drop PC to work. Yeah, that, 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 that uh, makes sense here. So I drop it there. I put the parts here. Select a case from inventory, but I cannot see it. Antec. Nothing. Hmm, let's try and save the game. I might have screwed something up. Let me leave, the, go to the main menu. Go back and load it. Oh, there it is. That the one? No, I think that's the, only the PC that's on the bench. We have two benches and one of them has a PC on it. Okay, here, have a look at that one again. Might be a different way to check where the casing is. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Did I miss something, guys? Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. Ah, maybe that one. Ah, there we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> so it's not really in your inventory. That's a bit misleading. It's actually down there, which makes a lot of sense. But all right, there we go. You guys were probably like, Rrr. it's in the hallway. Sorry, first timer. Okay, let's go do this. We have 60 bucks spent on the casing. 
It's no biggie. Let's uh, remove this one as well. And that. There we go. So, alright. First things first. We will want to install the PSU. Uh, we wanted a 350. Yeah, just a cheapo. Install the PSU here. Screw it up. Maybe don't screw it up. <laughs> screw it in, maybe. There you go. It's modular, so it's pretty clean. Each cable is separate from the actual PSU, so you can use them as you need it. And you don't need extra stuff in there. You need, don't need the extra cables. Okay, next up, we uh, work on the motherboard. Let's install that. Hopefully that's compatible. I didn't really double check, but should be. It's a pretty basic... Uh, Motherboard, Intel motherboard. Okay, there you go. Put in the screws again. Try to make it alternate so it's even. Just like using a tire or installing or removing a tire from your car. There you go. Normally, he would do this outside the case. He would do this like on a separate flat area, but. I guess this is close enough. All right, here he wanted to use this G4560. I think yes. I don't think anyone will miss that. All right, let's go install the thermal paste. Let's go and install the cooler. OMG, why? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Completely missed that one. Not everything is compatible here. It's it's for a specific socket. Dang it. Okay. Let's uh, buy it then. Oh, that's a waste. Well, not really a waste, but a waste of a day. Okay, yeah, because some of them are... Yeah, this is what I was expecting. I think this is what I have, the Cryorig H7. L L L compatible with both Ryzen and Intel. I was expecting all the others to be the same. Dang it. Okay. 49 CFM. I want a cryo rig. I'm a fan of cryo rig. So let's get this one for Intel. Very cheap. Do you want same day delivery? Oh, no. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Let's, uh. I'm going to spend the day for this. Let's have a look at the calendar if there's nothing like urgent. Yeah, not really anything urgent. Let's let's relax a little. Let's just yeah do that. End the day. <laughs> not very practical, but just so we can focus on building the PC, so we don't need to jump to different jobs. There we go. Collect that one in the dark. Up, and let's do this again. Let's continue. Thermal paste would have, I don't know, maybe dried up by now. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. Now we install the RAM. We should have RAM here, right? Uh, should have... What did we need? We needed uh, 16 gig here. What was the requirement? 16 gig. Okay, 16 gig it is. 16 gig is 2 8 gigs, this one. Okay, open it up. For the dual memory slot, it should be alternating like this. Where are you? That one, 8 gig. Perfect. And then we need uh, the storage next. Let's install the hard drive. Um, maybe open up the, the bay first. Put that in. Okay, and then let's install the cables. Push it back in. PSU, connect that. And the SATA. Over there. There we go. And then let's connect this to the motherboard. The PSU, rather. The biggest one there. Wait a minute, did he, like, need any specific cables or anything 
You guys remember, this guy is Orient Express 64. Okay, thank goodness we have a very fast boot up. Orient Express 64. Um, yeah, nothing really. Nothing about cables, thank goodness. I hate those, that mission. I hate having that objective with the cables. Okay, so CPU, connect that to the motherboard, the CPU cooler. This one, CPU power, connect that to the PSU. The fan, connect that to the motherboard as well. And the front panel, connect that to the motherboard like so. Okay, good. Okay, we don't have a video card yet. Let's get a pretty cheap video card. What is the cheapest one we can get? Um, that one. Yeah, I think that should be good enough for him. We're at 467 right now, well, way below the budget. But we have all the, the specs that he wanted us to get. Right, what was the cheapest? That one, 40. Okay, let's, let's, let's double check this. We have 467. If this is indeed 40, then this will mean we will be up to 507. Right, something like that. Um, how do I install that? I need to remove two slots here the second and the third looks like second and the third oh, that's very easy just snap it out no screws needed there we go good I think so 517 so it looks like it's a different price how much was it let's have a look $50. It was only 40 when you sell it, but you don't really see the value of how much that is when you use it. When you sell it, it's always lower. Okay. It's a bit tricky. Maybe there is somewhere you can see it. If you guys know, let me know, okay? Okay, let's try and see if it will boot up. Well, there will now be there will not be any OS, so let's install a USB as well. And power it up. Are things working? things are moving that's a good sign OS is installing I think we're good here I'm confident that we're good here there we go and now he has a brand new PC with some used parts but all in all I think that was a good deal yeah I think that kind of works There we go. One more? Oh, PCI lock, okay. And then we are good to go. Orient Express is going to be one happy bunny. Okay, put that down there and let's collect our monies. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Yes, that was amazing. Okay. Alright, moving on. This one. I remember this one had a CPU requirement. We were going to install like uh, a Ryzen, I believe. Maybe this one? <laughs> I need to review. McQueen. McQueen, what do you need? Uh, this one. CPU needs upgrading and it needs 16 gig of RAM. That's good already. Plastic black cables. Okay. They want AMD. Okay thing is I forgot which one but I guess we can see we will see as we place stuff along there I remember I needed to buy a new one maybe that's that one yeah there we go I think that's it hopefully yeah he still has a bit of budget in there okay perfect Right, he wanted or she wanted black cables. Is it a she, he or a she? Vanessa, okay, so it's a she. She wanted black cables in there, so we should remember that. First, though, let's uh, go and install the cooler. Wait a minute, is this hers? Maybe this is hers, huh? Why can I not use it? Oh, I probably need to lower down this stuff first. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, I think this is hers. <laughs> good thing we didn't use it for the other PC. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Okay, good. Uh huh. Power it up. Nice case. Close it up. Okay, it can boot up. Perfect. Alright, that's done. Is it that easy? Oh, the black cables. I almost forgot. Yeah, plastic black cables. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes, let's power it off again. Very nice wallpaper there. Now, I did forget about that. Plastic black cables. Did he? Did she have other stuff? Until now, I'm not sure how this works. Which cable specifically can be changed? That's the one I'm not sure of. Like, yeah, I think these ones could change, but the others, not really. So I'll just remove all the cables, right? And we'll see what we can change. Because last time I tried this, I missed something. And I had no clue what I missed. Alright. I think that's it. What is that? There's one more in there. That one. Let's remove that one. Oh, the uh, PSU. Okay. Alright, so let us install... Sleeved. Okay, let's go install a sleeved plastic cable. Okay, that one. Connect the PSU. Okay. Not sure if that's working. Okay, the SATA for sure we can customize supposedly. I think that's black. The PSU, I'm not so sure. I don't think so because that's coming from the PSU itself. Although that's, yeah, that seems to be customized. Okay. So okay, I guess we could get custom cables for that. Yeah, that looks very good. The CPU cooler, probably not. The GPU connection, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we can. It's good. Alright. The front panel for the case, probably not, because that's cable that cable's part of the case. Yeah, this one we should be able to. Yeah, that's a custom one. Case fans. Ooh, nice. Yeah. There we go. And I think that's it. Did I miss anything? I hope not. If all the fans are moving. Everything is powered. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That's as black as I can do it. I think. Hopefully that is enough for her. You will see if she complains again about the cables thingy. So the last customer was not so happy. I think we missed a cable or something. Right. That and... Uh, wait a minute. We missed something. We missed a case inside i remember where that is here the one covering the hard drive it was a very unique cover that one over here where was it beauty panel exactly perfect name because <laughs> that's what it does it hides away the ugliness cable management for the win okay good happy hopefully all right, there we go. Even the plastic black cables were covered. Perfect. All right, amazing. All right, next up is... Uh, okay, I think this is the huge upgrade. This is the best GPU. And I think a RAM of 4 gig is what we planned for this guy, if I remember correctly. Very dirty as well. Let's have a look at the requirements. Okay, 3667, benchmark score, never clean it out, yeah. Okay, and we really need to focus on this because this requires 3D mark, so we need to like fix up the parts and then leave it running for 3D mark while we work on something else. Something along those lines. Is this the back? Oh, this is like facing the other way. Quite unique casing. Nothing's happening. I think I need to open it up from the other side. Let's do that. Okay. 
Alright, spray it up. Oh yeah, that's filthy. There we go, that looks much better. Oh yeah. That looks really good. Even the back has been magically cleaned. Just by spraying on the inside like this. Okay, good. So let's do an upgrade. Let's remove the cables. I don't think there's any uh, any conflict with the cables, right? Yeah, I think we're good there. Let's remove that here. All right. Let's remove the GPU. Right, and then we get the new one, the best of the best GPU. I hope it fits. That one, 980 Ti. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, it does fit. Perfect. Oh, I'm happy about this. There we go. And then... Let's go and uh, install. What else are we installing? RAM, right? Yeah, I think RAM is the next one. The, the red one. Yes, that's the one. We just need to open it up here. And somewhere there. Oh, come on. Go down, maybe. That one. There we go. Perfect. And I think we're good. I think we can power this up now. Let's see if that works. Am I missing something? Oh, no, 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 no. My bad. Because I'm missing the cables. Cables for the GPU. There we go. And one more. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. What is that at the back? Connect case. Oh no, that's just the power, I think. Okay, now that should work. There we go. Good, yes, good. Perfect. So now we install 3D Mark. So we, where's the USB slot? There it is. We install 3D Mark here and we benchmark this. Hopefully it is enough because that's like stretching the budget already, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, almost at the budget. Restart, yes. So let's run 3D Mark here. Okay. Cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope this works. Why is that so slow? I have a bad feeling about this, but uh, trust the system, trust the process. Okay, uh, okay, moving on to the next. Let's go and check out our email. This one is 2167 AMD fanboy. I think we got, yeah, we got RAM and an AMD for this guy. Did we sell? Hmm, I'm kind of scared that we got, we placed a different CPU for that other guy. I think I might have. Does he want used parts? Okay, he doesn't really mind. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Ryzen 3 Quad Core 1300X. We have a uh, Ryzen 5 Quad Core 1400. But that's actually lower than this one. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, I think we'll need to postpone this one. I might have sold it to the other guy. I must, might have used the other Ryzen. Hmm. Ryzen 3 Quad Core 1300X. Ryzen 3 Quad Core 1300X is 1058. Yeah, we could have bought a quad core 1500x let's put that in the list what is the top of the line we can handle here 170 we bought him an 8 gig ram though 
but maybe we shouldn't have. Let me see. We do have one here. Wait, wait, wait. In terms of price descending, 170 is the most they can do, so we can get that quad core 1400. Um, but uh, is that better than what they have? Oh, they only have 1300x. 1300x is that one. Yeah, but this, in terms of stats, this looks better. Well, let's have a look at the part ranking. Quad core 1300x in the quad core. 1400 is actually a lot better. Okay, that's good. We can do this because we have a used part for it, right? Let's go do that. 3D mark done. 3D mark is done on the other PC. Let's go and check it out first. Oh, look at that. 5,079. And his only requirement was 3667. Goodness. That's a massive boost thanks to that GPU. Okay, I think we're happy. I think we're happy. As happy as we can be here. Beautiful. All right, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Goodness, this guy will give us 10 stars. We are below his budget and we increase his 3D Mark score by a ton. Okay, are there, are there any other parts? PCI lock behind probably. That's the one. And his uh, PSU seems to be able to handle it. Perfect. Okay. Where's this guy? This one. There we go. Perfect. Yes. It's not only 3667. It's 5000. Should have put that in your bongle review. Okay. 3D mark score of 2167. Up next, this one. And looks like we need to clean it as well. Okay. Fine with me. Denise. Madden? Maiden. But before we do that, any special thingy? Nothing, just clean it out. Right. Looks like it's one of those, yeah, it's the same case, the other side case. A very different layout. It's very strange, like everything's inverted. Maybe this is coming from the UK. <laughs> right hand drive. This is that equivalent. Uh, there you go. Alright, a bit more. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Isn't that, that how you say it? Okay, and for this guy, we have a new... It's a very interesting cooler. A new CPU. We, well, I used CPU, but a better one. Ryzen 5 quad core 1400. Close that. And uh, get him another piece of RAM there for the dual memory thing. That's the one. Within the budget? Yes, yeah, still within the budget. Put some thermal paste in there and see. Wrong one and see if this will work with his settings, with his needs. Right, cables, fly. Good, put it up. Install the back of the case for now. Um, it's not the one, this one. All right. And we also need to install 3D Mark here. Good. That one and good to go. What else? 2167, yeah, that's fine. Yes. We're actually earning a lot of money. Look at our money. 2681 now. Maybe you can buy something else now. Get some more automation happening. Like the screws or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that works. Run it. 
Let's see if that's enough for your needs. Hopefully. And then what else? What else? We can move on to the next one in the meantime. This guy is uh, Silverstone and replacing the PSU. Okay, that's easy enough. That should be straightforward enough. Don't really need to clean it or anything. Only thing is, it's a PSU thing. So, I have to remove all these cables. It's a bit of a hassle. But I don't think there is anything required in terms of cables, right? Yeah, just a new PSU and he's happy. Good. Okay, so let's remove all the cables. Motherboard. CPU. Uh, the one for the hard drive, which is pretty sneaky. I think we need to pull it out. Or... This one. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now we can remove this one. Yeah. And then replace it with a brand new Silverstone um, PSU. There we go. Broken. Straightforward enough. Good, and then cable it up. Let's put that in first, so we're done. Oh, it's not a modular one. You can see all the cables are just lying in there. It's not very aesthetically pleasing. Connect the motherboard to the PSU. Connect the CPU to the PSU. Perfect, perfect. That should work. There we go. Easy enough. It's like intermission for the harder stuff. Oh, very nice wallpaper. I like that. And we are good to go. All well within the budget, right? Yeah, exactly like so. So we are good. And we can collect that. There we go. Five stars. Perfect. Silverstone for the win. Alright, now, 2184, what was the requirement? 2167, perfect, amazing, it works. Thank goodness we had the used part there, otherwise we wouldn't have uh, had enough budget. Okay, let's bring that back. So keeping in the used parts is very useful actually. Good. Alright, let's collect our money from here as well. Wow, really... Pulling in all the dough, huh? There we go, five stars all the way. <laughs> nice. Okay, last one. I think we have a last one before we end the episode. And then we go window shopping later. Or next episode, that is. Okay. I think this is the one with the cable requirement. Plastic blue cables. Okay, graphics card, 8 gig RAM, clean out dust. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. Let's uh, remove that. Yeah, this case is pretty plentiful today. I think it's the end thing. Oof. Goodness. It hurts my eyes. Cooler Master PSU. Come on. Clean up already. There we go. Almost there, yes. Perfect. Alright. It's one down. Let's upgrade the graphics card. Now how do we say it's an upgrade? Well, it's a 950, so actually anything would be okay. We can probably put in the 1050 Ti. I think that's what I had in mind, right? So remove that. Install the the, the 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 one we bought before. Yeah, this one. We couldn't really use it anywhere else. Let's see if that will be considered as an upgrade. Is it? Okay, here we go. Yes, perfect. Okay, all right. And then upgrade eight gig of RAM. Um, what RAM is that? Just remember what I bought here. 
I don't have anything here. Um, why didn't I get anything, bro? Did I miss to do that? A data 4 gig. Did he want... I heard you guys put used parts and PCs. Please don't do that. Okay, I think I missed this. The 8 gig part stuff. Because it doesn't seem like we have any memory compatible with it. Yeah, I missed it. Or did I... This is new, right? Yeah, this is new. So I can actually... Are there other PCs that we need to fix today? No, that's the last one. Okay, so we have it. We have it. Yeah, no worries. So I think what we have to do is just remove this one. Oh, go too much down. Remove that one. Replace it with the... Uh, where, where is it? 2133. Three. Hmm. Not very good in frequency, but I mean... It was more focused on the... On the... Uh, the gig, after all, the size. There we go. Okay, 100 remaining. I like the sound of that. Boot it up. Confident that's enough. There we go. And we are good to go. Phew. I wonder where I bought that RAM from. Or what I bought it for. Because I can't remember anymore. Goodness, yeah, it really, this this game really needs a like assigning parts to a specific PC so we don't get confused. Good, I think we're good. I hope I didn't. Oh no no no! I think there was like plastic, black, blue plastic thingy, right? Yeah, plastic blue cables. Shoo! Almost missed it. Dang it! Okay, this is going to be hectic. Cable management, it's not, it's not my strongest suit, as you guys might have noticed, both virtually and in real life. So this one is a modular, modular PSU, we can't do anything about that, so it looks filthy. But what we can work with is probably all these. Yeah, instead of these red ones, we can make them blue. Blue is what he wanted, right? I think so. Let's remove that as well, just so we see everything. Okay. How about that one? HDD, yeah, that's something we can do as well. Okay, I think that's it. I'll just check one last time. Plastic blue cables, okay. And then cable, we put plastic blue, that's the one. And we just connect all these. I hope I didn't miss anything. That is not it. That is it to the PSU. Case fan. There we go. Blue parts for the win. Hard drive to the PSU. How did that look? Yeah, that's nothing. That didn't change. Look at that. Because that's coming from the PSU itself. But the SATA is something we can customize. There you go. Beautiful. This one I don't think we can customize either. Yeah. Alright, I think that's good. That's it. And that actually fits very well with this PC. With this cooler. I hope we didn't miss anything. If I did, we will see with the rating. But if I did miss anything, you guys let me know what I missed, alright? Right there. One more thing. And we should be good now. Right? Awesome. We actually cleaned out everything and everything we did today was five stars. Perfect. I'm happy. So then all these guys, oh my goodness, so many. <laughs> We will work on that next time and we will go shopping as well for parts and for stuff for us. The next thing I'm looking for is maybe the quick screw tool. Oh, that's very expensive. Yeah, that one is for overclocking. That's actually very interesting. 
Okay, but let's see. That is for a the next episode. For now, we rest and we enjoy our handiwork. That felt good. Awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Comment, share with your friends, all that stuff. And uh, catch you in the next episode. Clumsy, signing off. Bye-bye.